Hey, what up Decisive Marcus? If you are a content creator, whether you're a content writer or you create YouTube videos or um, podcasts, for example, or you are an SEO expert, this is something that you want to pay attention to because this tool is really unique. Okay, so what this tool does, it creates a topic model for you so that, you know, questions that people are asking on the internet, whether it's on Reddit, it's on Quora, it's on uh, Google, whichever, where it is, okay, um, is going to group these questions into different topic models where you have why questions, how questions, when questions, and where questions, something like that. Okay, and uh, you will then be able to grab some of these ideas and understand where your content is actually missing the, you know, the, the where the missing piece is, right? Um, so and and the next thing as well is they also have a question finder so that you can find what are the most asked questions that revolves around your topic so this tool itself is called topic mojo but before we dive in be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content so here we are in the topic mojo um that da uh dashboard right here so they have topic model and question finder they also have search listening which is a coming soon feature it's not ready yet okay so what we're going to be doing first is we're just going to be using the question finder first okay so here we have um so all you need to do is very simply put in a keyword and it's going to pick out uh, it's going to crawl and pick out questions uh, relating to the keyword that you have okay so I'm gonna put in digital marketing in here and put Singapore so what I'm gonna be doing right now is actually to open up uh, one of my previously searched um, report okay and this is what uh, comes up right so it says that in the past 12 months uh, there is a, you know five you know 500 to 600 over thousand um, searches with regards to these uh, this particular keyword right here okay and that they, they have found 18 uh, keywords uh, sorry 18 questions on reddit okay so it says uh, anyone ordered from shopee okay um anyone got experience with shopee.com how reputable is reputable is shopee so these are the questions that are being asked right so if you are you know be, you, you want to be writing content then uh you know these are questions that people are going to be asked regarding this topic right here okay so uh while we are waiting okay so they have like google but because this keyword does not have anything uh that was found on google and quora as well since no one is asking um this question uh i'm gonna be uh jumping in very soon uh also right here you can see the interest of this um keyword as well um like the interest um, in Google Trend, okay, right. So while we are still waiting, let's jump into model first, right. So model, um, so we have digital marketing right here. I'm going to click into this, so that we can actually see what are the questions that revolves around digital marketing. Okay, so we can see uh, in the topic model that this is the trend that is going up. It seems like more and more people are getting into digital marketing, right? So um, we can see like it started around two years back and people are really getting into digital marketing right now. So the trend is really moving up. Okay, more and more people, these are the search volume. Okay, um, and you can look at the uh the the uh, overview there'll be these um 
videos that are on YouTube okay um, they they don't necessarily have to be on YouTube but it's just video results okay video results and then you've got forum results this is based in Singapore by the way so this is what uh, what videos that you can find from um, uh, in Singapore right so these these are some of the, the videos and then you've got forums so these are the top forums uh, where you can find um, content uh, questions that people are asking uh, talk, revolving around uh, digital marketing and then you can see tweets as well so it does not just work on like you know forums uh, YouTube and Google but it also searches into Twitter as well right so these are the tweets these are the Instagram posts these are the Pinterest uh, pins. There are Amazon. Uh, of course, if it's digital marketing, it's likely to be books. And then we've got news regarding dig uh, digital marketing as well. So, Entrepreneur Lens is support to digital marketing enterprise. Okay, so then these are the news. Okay, so here we have. And then you've got three. So, this, this is something similar to um, answer the public. Okay, answer the public. So, uh, so they group those questions uh, together, right? So um, how to, so how to digital marketing course, how to digital marketing strategy, how to digital marketing on Facebook, how to digital marketing in Hindi, how to digital marketing works, right? Uh, why should this? Okay, so if you look at this, um, uh, these are like questions that are we call it top of funnel kind of questions right so top of funnel questions so these these are the kind of topics that you want to be writing on so that you can actually pull in uh, traffic into your website okay so and then this is a different uh, topic model so uh, should I learn right when should this be used why should it be capitalized so you can see like should I learn then this could be like a top of funnel kind of question uh, this one would be when should digital marketing be used uh, this could be also a top of funnel kind of question so should digital marketing be capitalized not really sure what that is should I do digital marketing course should I do digital marketing okay why will digital marketing help your career will digital marketing last long will digital marketing ever rule the world will digital marketing be automated will digital marketing replace traditional marketing right so a lot of these questions uh, you know they kind of group them together give you a better idea of what's going on um, so these are comparison questions so these are um, these are comparison kind of questions uh, top digital marketing companies in India, top digital marketing companies in Singapore, right? So these when are uh, when people are actually doing comparison, right? So these are the kind of searches: digital marketing versus social media marketing, digital marketing versus traditional marketing, okay? Uh, digital marketing versus content marketing. So when you start writing, right, this gives you a better idea, right? So this will probably be somewhat in the middle of the funnel where people are comparing now right so uh so so they will be searching for you know digital marketing versus social media marketing which is better right or uh and how and this one will be like how to do digital marketing on facebook how to do digital marketing on instagram uh this would somewhat be in the middle of the funnel where they are looking for more uh you know how to do something okay and uh, digital marketing like a pro, digital marketing like a pro PDF, digital marketing like a pro review. Okay, um, digital marketing is the same as okay. Uh, shopping so budget digital marketing plan, budget digital marketing strategies, right? Cheap digital marketing agency, digital cheap digital marketing course. So if you want to like target the keywords then of course you can write something um, that contains those keywords right so uh, online digital marketing degree online digital marketing jobs online digital marketing courses free online digital marketing course Singapore 
so people are actually looking to purchase something okay so uh, research okay so this is when people are actually going more into the funnel already so they're looking for ideas for construction companies and stuff like that okay then uh, local searches will be nearby digital marketing agency right near digital marketing jobs near me digital marketing right so and then anything with alphabets so i don't think there's anything that will be too related at all and then numbers so right seven types whatever it is right so this gives you an idea and then there is grouping so it groups um like a keyword cluster i would say something like that in here so this gives you they group some certain questions together um and then you've got queries so these are what people are asking and you can sort them as well into different kind of questions right so like uh, should digital marketing be capitalized okay so research kind of questions okay and then um let's see and then at the bottom here right you can see like a uh, overview as well so like related searches breakout searches okay and then the related topics so digital media digital marketing marketing course will be a small subset as well so this so how you can basically um let's let's jump in here again to the question finder right before we close off on the uh, topic mo mojo here okay so so in the previous example i wasn't able to show you the um, google results and the let me just refresh this page okay there we go so uh, the same thing it gives you a trend and the search volume so this one tells you what are the questions on google okay this one tells you what are the questions people ask on google this is on reddit and this is on quora okay this is what is being found in singapore right so this is what people um, are asking in Singapore, right? So pretty much this is what Topic Mojo is. I think that Topic Mojo is useful in giving you uh, two things, right? The first thing would be uh, any content gaps that you're missing out, right? Anything that when you write your piece of content, is there anything that was missed out? Uh, you can make use of Topic Mojo to look into it and see if there's any um, gap that you missed out. The second thing would be uh, to give you ideas on what else to be writing on because um, you are actually grabbing um, ideas from your um, potential customers because they are asking those questions and uh, you can then get ideas but what I recommend that you do with topic mojo um, just like the because they are I would say more like an alternative of answer the repub uh, answer the public you can use the um, ideas that you get uh, and grab those um, keywords and put it into um, a keyword research tool and look at the volume first before you start writing on this content um, because you may not get um, that much um, what do you call that um, results if you are spending um, so much time writing a piece of article that not many people are searching for right because that's what topic mojo does not tell you is um, for these kind of questions how many people are actually searching for it as well right so um, I think that's all I have in this video I think that topic mojo will be a great addition as well to your content planning stage all right and uh, and 
um, if you enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up if you know anyone who could benefit right any content writers or um, online uh, SEO marketer um, I think that you know you, you, you think that topic mojo could benefit them do share this video with them and lastly um, if you let me know what you think about topic mojo in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video